Greetings once again, fellow warlords. It's I, Magma WK. And we're in a nice little place. But we must bring down the Urksur King. Who could that be? It's Sophie. Or Sopai. But currently we are in Jingyi Castle. Because we are going to invade Wei. Because Wei is being jerks right now. No way? Yes way. And there's some pretty nice items for sale. And yes indeed. And we shall buy those off the camera there. Maybe equip them later. But I'm doing pretty good right now, so I'm not too worried about it. Also, if you need to change any of your troops. Fine. Guanling. That's our next destination. And just in case you need items, there are plenty of items here. Including smoke pods. Excuse me one moment while I buy a delicious smoke pot. But really, that's enough of that. It's time to take out Wei once again. Once again, this is the first time. Anyways, let's continue on. Going to the east and eventually north. But first, rebel forces. Yes, they have all increased all the way to 1900. But they're still pretty much jokes. Speaking of jokes, what Joker warlord shall we face here? Oh my! This new win! While his stats aren't impressive, his number of troops are. And he has plenty of attack power and defense as well. So, one moment while I take out this jerk. Hey, we didn't fare out too badly there. But there are more dangerous generals in way. Lots more dangerous. Like these guys, for example. It's so Yang and Wing Can. Oh my! He is strong and fierce. And his buddy Wing Can is a tremendously good tactician. And he's not even their best. So we shall just walk away like melee men. But that wasn't the point. The point was to visit this lake. Actually, there's no point to visiting that lake. Now, oh, where was I? Ah, yes. Traveling along the peaceful lands of Wei. Speaking of Wei, there's Dian Wei. And he is strong. Not very bright, though. Dian Wei was very important. He was So So's personal bodyguard. Up until around 197. Saving So So's life several times in combat. And he will hit fiercely at us. As you see, he took out a nice 1500 chunk from Zhao Yun there. And even wounded Ma Chao feels the heat. But if we face two or three of these generals at the same time, we're not going to be able to do our all out fun. Because it won't be no fun. And no capturing the generals yet, because it is too early in the campaign. campaign. Do you like the campaign? Do you wish you could be elected ruler of China? Well, that's not how it works around here. Have you worked today? I did. I'm tired. More importantly, let's retire these guys up here. Oh my, Zai Hao Yuan! Although he doesn't have very many soldiers, in comparison, he is very strong, and smart enough to hold his own in combat. Cao Hao Yun did several significant battles for Wei in the early and middle stages of their existence. But ultimately, Huang Zong. Huang Zong, he was very mean to Zai Hao Yuan. Very mean as an arrow. And in correct spaces aside, let's gain a level. Yes. And we're almost to the 10,000 mark. 
Yes, we too shall be going in five digits. Speaking of other things, let me get in a fight to use one of my tactics to recover. Now, where were we? Oh yes, we're taking out Guang Ling Castle. But more importantly, it's Zhang Liao. Let this friend of Kao Zhang, the Soul family. I'm sorry, I should say Sozin. The Sozin is impressive, but not the strongest. Zhang Liao is something you gotta work out for. Oh my! He's strong, smart, and he's got the powerful An Sha. Yes, assassination. And he has Ji Mian as well. A whole bunch of nasty tactics. So let's get to it once again. And take out the biggest threat, Zheng Liao. Zheng Liao is a threat. He's also one of Soso's best generals. He didn't always give out the best advice, but more importantly, he took out Tal Shasi in the battle. More on that later. Right now, we're getting flooded. Hong Shui, get used to this. Because a lot of these castles are going to be near water now. But we can counter with Shui Long. And Shui Long, of course, is the strongest water attack. I like that tactic. So, what shall we do next? We could stop their tactics. That might be a good idea, but once again, that costs 17 tactic power. So we'll leave it up to Zhao Yun to flood them. Flood their emotions and make them cry. And while we're at it, Beijai is a failure. They're a little bit too strong to get. Guaranteed his arm. And now they have protection against it. So, let's go back to mostly melee. Since Xiao Yun is smart enough, and I have plenty of tactic points. We'll try Hui Shin and burn them. It's not nice to burn people. It hurts them. And Zhang Liao has one heck of a beard, I can tell you that. Zhang Liao wasn't too fond of Guan Yu either. Also, did you know Zheng Liao initially worked for Lu Bu? Yes, indeed. After Lu Bu's defeat, he decided, eh, maybe So So's the better warlord. As far as brains go. And that could have locked off some brains. And even with some of our powerful mystic swords, their defense is holding out pretty well. Regardless, let's go ahead and then all out this. Fair enough. And a tremendous amount of rations that we really don't need. Seriously. We're getting closer and closer to a million. But more importantly, Guiling Castle. And for now, we're going to take a quick rest. And I shall meet you inside Guiling. Guang Lake. Nobody wants to be Gui.